Hey, how's it going? If you just signed up for US Mobile's GSM LTE service, you may have noticed that group and picture messaging isn't working as expected. Again, this is only for US Mobile's GSM LTE service, which uses the white SIM card you can see here. Anyway, I've experienced this problem myself and I've been doing some tests. So if I jump into the messages app and I send a text message, you can see texting actually works fine. So in a moment here, I'll receive it. Yep, there it is. Texting works fine. I'll say it works. And bam, there you go. Texting clearly working, uh, but picture messaging, that is something that is not working. So if I send a photo, uh, we just got a lot of snow here in New England, send a photo of that. Um, you can see it'll send and it will actually not receive. And I can try and send a photo over here as well. So I'll just send a, wow, you can see I can't, I cannot even tap on the photos button on the US mobile GSM phone. So iPhone SE can't even, don't even have the option to send a picture. Um, and as you can see, it has not received the picture. I sent it from my Cricut phone. So picture messaging clearly not working. If I jump into a group chat and do test, you can see I'll receive it, uh, but this is sent as an outgoing message. So it's not a group message. It just messages each recipient individually that are listed as being part of the so-called group. So that's not really working either. In this video, I'm going over how to fix that. This is how you get group and picture messaging working on US Mobile's GSM LTE service, again, with their white SIM card. So you may have actually gotten a text from US Mobile. In fact, I did. It says, thank you for choosing US Mobile. We are excited to have you as a customer. To activate your internet, please go to, and then there's a link. So while data is actually working, you can see if I actually tap on the link, it brings me to the web page and loads it up. So we don't need to get data working, but we do need to configure our device. And this brings us to a page with helpful instructions for getting MMS working. And MMS stands for Multimedia Services, and that includes both group and picture messaging. And there are a lot of tutorials here. In this video, I'm going over how to get group and picture messaging working on an iPhone running iOS 6 or later. So this is how you do it. You can follow this helpful guide, which I will have linked in this video description. And I'm also going to be referencing it on my computer. Anyway, step one is to turn off Wi-Fi. Done. Step two is to go into settings, scroll down to messages, and make sure MMS is turned off. In fact, I don't even see an option for it here, so it's already off. Next, you're gonna to wanna to go back, scroll up to cellular, go into cellular data options. You're gonna to wanna to toggle roaming on and then tap on cellular data network. Here you can see we have the APN alpha and this is actually the incorrect APN. And what we're doing based on the guide is changing the APN, which stands for access point name to PWG. So again, jumping into the guide so you can see this quickly, these are the APN settings we need to enter in the settings application. I will have those listed right here. And I'm just gonna enter all of those quickly and then come back. Okay, so once you have all the data entered correctly in the settings application, this is what it should look like. Again, the APN is PWG. The LTE setup, which is optional, is also PWG. MMS APN PWG. MMSC is that long URL right there. Max message size 1048.57.6. The MMS UA Prof URL is that long URL right there. And you're pretty much done. So you're going to go back. You can just tap back in to make sure all the information is there and entered correctly. You can see I actually just lost my MMS UA Prof URL. So I'm going to type that back in. And it's back again, just back out, enter it again. Make sure everything is there. And yes, this time my MMS UA Prof URL has stayed. And after you've entered that information correctly, you can go home and now you just need to reboot your device. Okay, so we're back. So again, just to verify everything worked, you can jump back into settings and make sure all the information is still there. It is, so we should be good to go. You can toggle data roaming off after that process is complete. Um, and if you wanted to, you could turn your Wi-Fi back on. The other big thing you need to do is scroll down to messages and now you can see an option for MMS messaging. You just wanna make sure this green toggle is in fact toggled on, and that means you should be good to go. So now we can test out group and picture messaging. I'll go into the messages application, head on over to my group chat, just do a test here. 
So you can see the test worked. Now we can try a picture message. You can see I can actually select a picture now. So I'll just select this data speed test, send that on over. And you can see that totally worked. Picture message was sent. Let me try and receive a picture message on US Mobile. Okay, so it's been a little while here and I have not yet received the picture message on US Mobile. So in terms of picture messaging, yes, I can now send picture messages, but it does not appear as though I can receive picture messages. Let's try out group messaging and see if that works. You can see up top it now says two people instead of outgoing. So I'll do a test two. And you can see that is absolutely working. I got two notifications on my phone, one from Google Voice and the other to my messaging app. So I'll type a reply and bam, looks like the reply went through. So that appears to be good. For good measure, I can try Google Voice. And interesting, you can see US Mobile actually did not receive the test message from Google Voice. I'll send a reply here and see if that goes through. Yep, so basically what I'm seeing here is US Mobile is able to send MMS messages, but is not able to receive um, some MMS messages. So my reply clearly went through and all of my tests appear to be going through. My Google Voice test did not go through. I'll just say test three and try that again. Jump back to messages, I'll say test four, see if either of those go through. Um, and again, receiving that picture message did not, that didn't happen either. So can send messages and I can send group chats, but um, in terms of receiving messages, it seems that is a little bit of a hit or miss right now. So I'm going to reboot the phone, give it a little time to think about its APN settings, and I'll get back with some more conclusions for you. Okay, I'm back after a while, and good news, US Mobile actually finally did receive the picture I sent over to it. However, the less than good news is comparing the group chats. I did send a picture in here as well, and that was not received. And also, just looking at the most recent messages, uh, they don't really line up. So I say, I think it's finally working, and that message wasn't received. I think I agree with that, also not received. So these messages here weren't really received on US Mobile. And some final thoughts on what's happening here. Basically, I've been able to get US Mobile to successfully send MMS messages with the correct APN settings that we entered in the settings application under cellular, cellular data options, and cellular data network. However, I have not been able to reliably, successfully receive MMS messages. Um, some group texts have gone th come through, as you can see here. It looks like it's working, but it's just not reliable enough where I would say it's truly working properly. I will certainly continue to follow this issue and update you in my full review. However, for now, I'd say a better alternative is to use Google Voice as your primary number with US Mobile GSM LTE. Basically, with Google Voice, you can reliably send and receive MMS messages, and you will use US Mobile's cellular data connection to do that. And this is actually a great way to reduce your monthly bill as well, so you wouldn't necessarily need to pay for minutes or texting from US Mobile because you would be using Google Voice and your cellular data connection to do that. So Google Voice, a great solution and workaround for this MMS issue. Um, you can send and receive MMS messages as well as reduce your rate, uh, spend less on talk and text and spend more on data. And there you go. So that is it. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Uh, that is how you do enter the correct APN settings. However, while I did it, it didn't appear to work. So maybe consider Google Voice and Hangouts as an alternative. So that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, hopefully you found it helpful. I will have everything you need linked in this video description and consider subscribing to stay tuned for the full review of US Mobile. Again, this was their GSM LTE model. If you use their Super LTE SIM card, it uses the Verizon network and you shouldn't need to worry about any of this. Anyway, that wraps up this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.